Hello, this is HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! Let's see what's behind this door. That seems like a very inefficient way of locking a door. I, I don't know, maybe that's just me? No, I guess I wanted to make it different. Looks like a ruins of a city or something around here. Well, I don't know, skyscrapers or something? Looks like it's a dead end. Nuts. A very big dead end. If the well, stories we could are right, climb down. It's a maze. This oh, place now is you tell us. See. All kinds of challenges from Grand Pulse are waiting. Challenges like long, narrow hallways. How long can you walk the through them before you crack? <laughs> sounds better. I mean, how could that possibly be a maze? I, I, I have had know. enough of this. Where's the way out? Way out? Why don't you ask the pro one? Bring it on. Stugard! I mean, my uh, mind is made up. Maybe I'm gonna I stop sulking. I don't want to end up like Hope. But until that happens, I'm gonna make Sarah proud. By constantly talking I to her tear drop. I myself to admit that this tear meant goodbye. It isn't. And that's why I kept searching for her. What do you mean by that? You're not gonna tell us, are you? But I didn't need to. Sarah was here the whole time. Right here. Watching over me. Well, if that helps you sleep now at night. I get it. What this tear's been telling me is to not let our focus win. It's not the fallacy we should listen to. It's Sarah. It's the zombies. It rains. You know or why? them. Or the ice cubes, okay? Our focus doesn't matter. What matters to me is that we protect Cocoon. Whatever it takes. <laughs> or we could just sit on our ass and do nothing. That would save the world I'll help on its you own. Do it. All right. I'm in. Frokobo says yes! Mm -hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. Smile. Smile, lady. No, you're on the right path. No you smile. Well, That's right. Count me out. What? Mm -hmm. It's the Frokobo. What, what, what do you mean? If you all want to go it on your own. And so will I. Oh, hey, hey. What the hell? Hey. Where's this coming, what's coming from? They hate us for being Lissy. What's it to me if they die? You've been here Better less than that, two weeks. Watch your friend go see. If you don't have the nerve for it, I'll do it myself. Go on alone. Get stronger. And smash Cocoon out of the sky. Oh, kind of hard to pair on a ship like that. You turn Seath and there's no coming back. I'm not... <sighs> letting it end that way. <sighs> You know, this whole Eidolon scene seems kind of forced, you know? Like lightning, hope, snow, they all have legitimate, re legitimate reasons to be, you know, in emotional turmoil. But here, it's like, oh, uh, how many people have we given them Eidolons? Three! That's it? We're not even halfway through the game yet! We better start pumping them out now! I mean, it's like... They couldn't What's figure out where to put it somewhere, so they just threw it here, I guess. Come to take pity on me? Come to I don't take know. care of a broken Lassie? That thing He's a transformer! Help yeah, help. That's what Eidolans do. They help us. Eidolans are our salvation. If we can't oh, decide what to do next, oh, I had it wrong. they come put us out of our misery! Wait, so you haven't made up your mind yet? Apparently not. <laughs> Stuga! Why are you protecting yeah. me? What are you doing? Protecting one of our own. We can do without their brand of mercy. And we don't we got our own brand right here. either. I'm fighting this focus to the end. We all are. So please. Fight with us. And take a shower while you're at it. <laughs> that would be nice. Everyone else's hair looks nice. Hey, hey, all right, we get the Charlie's Angels team for this fight. Ready when you are. For boss time. 
But actually, because they didn't give us a change or a chance to change up our paradigms, I actually want to uh, retry this to give myself a chance to uh, rearrange that. Or could I have done this in advance? Oh, I could have switched my party around in advance and done that. I was thinking it was like earlier in the game where we couldn't do that, but uh. Well, okay, I guess I'm wasting your time then. I'm just gonna skip past these cutscenes. I'm not re recording this. No, screw that. But uh, I will just uh, skip past all this stuff, and the game will give us the opportunity to rearrange our setup, and I'll be right back. Or the paradigms. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. I've listed my setup in the video description for Bahamut. Yeah, kick ass! Let's get him. Uh, first things first, of course, Libra, so that way we can uh, build up that Gestalt meter. Now for him, it's based on uh, getting debuffs on him and uh, using Sentinel and chaining him. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, chaining is one of them. The other two are Sentinel, using Sentinel and... Uh, oh, well, hey, I almost got him. Wait for another potion. Gonna use one more. There we go. Or we could just sit on our ass. There we go. Okay, now once you've gotten all the debuffs on him, then switch to send Rav Rav, and we should be in pretty good shape. Let's get him to uh, target me while we're at it. There we go. All right, and then basically just chain him at this. Oh, I get a counter attack, huh? Okay, fair enough. Oh, I got him in Gasalt mode already. Well, that was fast. But yeah, basically just debuff him. Make sure you stay healed. Use the doctor's code for some potions. And chain him and use Sentinel. And that's it. Really all there is to it. Yeah, it's about this point where doctor's code is really going to start becoming useless. Because uh, with that new level of Crystarium, we... Uh, our HP is going to skyrocket, and the HP from a potion just uh, just won't help out that much. There's no high potions or anything like that, unfortunately. Look. So, oh well. Oh look! Another long, narrow... Well, Maybe it's not a hallway, but... A long, narrow path! I don't suppose you'd be willing to call it a sign of me being right. No? <laughs> Listen, uh, keep our eyes on the goal uh, and we'll figure something friends. out. All right. Yeah, we've only been at it for 20 hours yeah. of the game and we still have no idea so what I we're guess doing. Being a Lissy doesn't have to mean you can't do what's right. Yeah, you can become a zombie. Zombie apocalypse? Anyone? Why are they making us walk down this path? I mean. This is insipid. Well, no, not sipid. Insipid. Pointless. The Whatever the word is. We're the ones who decide I'm trying to pretend my uh, vocabulary is bigger than it actually is. Wow, this really is narrow. Holy cow. So what's over there? Looks like oh. a weird hey. machine or something. Look at that. What? Oh. An airship? What? And it's from Grimes. So, we get, took an airship to I get here, walk to the other side of the ark, only to get another airship. Why not just keep the one we had to begin it's with? It's a gate to Grand Pulse. Oh. Right. That sounds like a bad idea. So, what? That's our exit? Pulse? Or bust? Could be one of Dysley's traps. Or we could just... Well, Hop our way out of here and to eat. Do you Eden? think it might take us to eat? Mm -mm. I'm we already fly. there. No more of these ships taking charge of our travel plan stuff. The only place this thing is taking us is where these boys tell it to. <laughs> these really? big guns. That is a Grand Pulse ship. Really? <laughs> Leave it to me. Hey, I'm a professional <laughs> pilot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> I don't think they ever explain that in the Either game. Way, we're besides on the data log, but so we might as well still. go. We get lucky. <laughs> Maybe we'll Apparently, turn pilots some get, way guns to get rid of these world. goofy tattoos. <laughs> yeah, but there's yeah no they way do look do pretty that. goofy. You never know. Maybe we just didn't think to look for one. 
And look at my tattoo. I got it halfway else. off. We know Cocoon's so. safe for the time being. I'd say it's worth going to take a look. Yeah, as long as none Maybe. of us are going to destroy it. But what about it. your dad? Dickless! I mean, if he took care of business, I'd be out promise. of business. I promised nah. him to keep going. Nah. Just kidding. do what I had to. He said only I would know what that was. The yeah, so that way he lies. doesn't have to take responsibility. There's no way of knowing what's right. All we can do is believe in ourselves. It's easy to sit back and let people trick you. Like how the Sanctum had us all thinking that Elise was some sort of monster. So Hope is going to be the lies. one to cheer us up? Without what is the world coming this whole to? Focus thing. From here on out, I use my eyes. Think. And act. And what are you going to act right on? Choices. But as long as I'm the one You're who decided not going to tell us, right. There's nothing to regret. <laughs> okay. Aren't you guys buying this? <laughs> no? All right. Let's do You're it. Not funny. I'm with you. Bad choices and all. <laughs> Of like course, smoking. I'm not sure how it's going to uh, turn out. Drinking. Well, Pulse you're too young, young for enough. both, but... Oh, even in Japan. Now? How many times have you been there? <laughs> None. But I want to go and see what it's like for myself. Yes. Yeah, fire and brimstone okay, and everything. Okay, people. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Nah. Nah, just kidding. So, everybody in? Right, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Off to hell we go. Highway to hell. Nah. nah. I've already used it. Well, that was another game. Never mind. Well, how bad could it possibly be? No one ever said the future'd be easy. Yeah, this game's hard. I'm making it look easy, but it's really hard. Nice fireworks. But I think we all saw the glimmer of a dream somewhere in the sky that night. Except for Fang. She was getting drunk at the bar. The yeah, remember when you saw her back in... Yeah, you see right there? Yeah. I forgot they had this scene there. Where they showed a picture of it. And I'm okay with the whole coincidence that everyone just happened to be in Bodom at the same time. That doesn't bother me at all. That moment's come and gone. Man, Vanille's really gotten serious. It's the same voice actress, but it just sounds different because now she all, all of a sudden she's so serious and not all giggly and everything like that. They've gone to plan! Why would we need a gate to get the Grand Pulse? And couldn't we just fly there? Well, I suppose there is kind of outer space between us and them, but... Yeah, totally you know, I mean, Cocoon is basically a, a moon. You know? Whoa, holy crap! Giant... Playful flying critter, isn't worm. It? Yeah, we'll play with someone else. Sandworms. You hate them, don't you? Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, yeah giant flying buffet. worms coming to eat us! Seafood, cute. Guys, here it comes! <laughs> that didn't work so well. And they die. I'm on it! What do you mean? Get up! Good one, Snow! Get her! Nah. Oh, now you just pissed them off. Does anyone else have a flying idolin? Anyone? You just got a horse and a car and a motorcycle that becomes two hot women. I wish I had a motorcycle that became two hot women, but I don't. What about the airship? I was going to say, who's flying the thing? No one, I guess. Well, I guess that worked out. So much for getting an airship. Home, sweet home. Welcome to Grand Pulse. Oh, looks like a, kind of a nice place. Wow, lots of 
trees and flora and fauna, whatever that is. I don't know what it is, but well, it looks like kind of a nice place. What awaits us on the world of Grand Pulse? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day. And then we'll start chapter 11.